Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 16. Welcome to Jurassic World Free Play for Lego Jurassic World. We're going to nail all 10 of those mini kits. We're going to grab that amber brick. We're going to get a couple of golds for getting the true survivor and getting all those mini kits. And there are a couple requirements on the left that we want you to pay attention to before getting too deep into this. So make sure you've completed the story. Make sure you have the other dinos needed. And let's go ahead and choose a welcome to Jurassic World from the fourth movie area. Oh, yeah. All right, you guys remember this. This is where we went searching for that little piggy piggy. We're going to actually head all the way off to the far right side rather than attempting to do the story stuff first. And boy, this area is a lot bigger than we remember it being in the first run through here. It's mainly because we did not adventure over to the far right side. But as you can see, there is a tent and a few items over here. Just to the left of a tent is a brown box. Go ahead and smash that box, build the pieces up, and grab mini kit number one. All right, keep in mind, this is a long video, but there are a couple of points where we're just bingo, bango, bongo, so make sure you're paying attention. We're going to head over to the right-hand side of the same area, and there is a crowbar point on the back of a truck. That actually rips down the back of the truck bed and gives us access inside to grab mini kit number two. Right inside the tent, too, is another point. There's actually a dino icon indicating that we need a character that can hack a terminal. So we're going to pull out our U Uber Haxor Elite Olex, and uh, we're going to pull her out and make sure that she forces the radar into the inner circle there. I don't know if that makes much sense. But basically, you got to sit on the outside and push the button and then keep following that radar path until the airplane is all the way in the middle. All right, now, there is a long stretch in between this and the next collectible. So if you guys are in a hurry or just here for the mini kits and collectibles, go ahead and use the quick links down below in the video description. The next one's going to be mini kit number four. And uh, if you're here to hang out and watch the video, well, welcome, welcome. We're going to go ahead and go back to the first area we started in over on the far left of this area. And uh, we're going to smash the brown boxes and build up the green bits, which actually give us a nice little rock climbing wall. So we're going to switch on over to our favorite rock climber, Mr. Owen. To be completely honest with you, I'd forgotten that Owen could actually climb the wall. So I'm glad I chose him because I would have had to switch to him or Alan up top to cut that shrub. But uh, once you get up top, make sure you cut the shrubs and it's going to make the crane go all wonky and drop it on the back of the truck and give us a ton of bricks to build up. Now this actually gives us... Uh, I don't know if I'd call it a, a, a pig cannon or a cannon day pig or something, but it's basically a giant cannon we're going to launch that piggy piggy in. And you can see that little rascal in the back poking out of that garbage can like, wink, 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 wink. But we're going to go ahead and use Berra and his tracking abilities to go ahead and it looks like a paintbrush. It's kind of an odd thing to be searching for a pig. I'm sure I've got it. Oh, it's a candle for the cake. That's what it is. Da -da. All right, so build up that birthday cake, and for whatever reason, that pig's like, rrr, rrr, oink, and he runs out and gets in on that pancake cake. That's what it looks like. It looks like a giant pancake stacked on a bunch of other giant pancakes with candles on top. Anyways, uh, we go ahead, and there is a purple stud in that dumpster, and we actually come back and get it in a minute because we got to get them all. But uh, ride the pig on over to the front side or the right side of the uh, little uh, ramp there and once he gets on top it'll actually cue the old pig poulter and it'll give us a nice little grapple hook that we can grapple and launch that wee piggy all the way across and you know I don't know if that's like a reference to pigs in space or not some of you guys might remember that and if I just blew your speakers out in my bad I actually tried to step away from the microphone but I wanted to have that echoey space effect because the old Muppet Show used to have pigs in space back in the Dizay. So, oh yeah, look at that. All right, so you need a dino dung diver, somebody that can handle digging in some poop or some dirtiness. You can go ahead and dive in and get that poiple stud inside that dumpster before heading up the stairs. Now, if you guys watch the story videos, or obviously you've played the story mode, uh, you probably remember this little section here where there are three total lights up top. The middle one needs to be grapple hooked down, and the right and left one need to be cut down with either Alan or Owen. So we're going to go get our cut on, and we're going to head on over to the right side, and we're going to grab a bunch of studs along the way too because I was kind of starting to panic. I feel like we'd been playing this level for a while, even though we're only a couple minutes in. And I didn't have very many studs yet, so 
And uh, once you get all three of those lights dropped down, though, and you're done getting all the studdage, go ahead and build those pieces up into a shock panel. And you shoot it once, and it almost looks like you need to shoot it a few times because the, the little bar only gives a third, but it actually charges all the way up. And that actually kicks open the raptor cages down below and releases the hounds, so to speak. And now we're in control of the raptor. So basically, this is easy peasy. If you remember, you go over to the right hand side and pull the right switch. This actually gives power to the right shock terminal up top. Then there is, uh, you're going to want to switch down below again and switch or over to a different Raptor and pull the left handle. And this is going to pull up the left shock panel up top, giving us access to shoot it with all Barry. I don't know if there's another person with a shotgun. Is there anybody else? Does anybody know that? I don't explore characters very much until the game's done, so I don't find a lot of those things out unless you guys tell me. So I know, you know, I knew about Mr. DNA because of my son, and I knew about a couple other things because you guys have been awesome in the comments, but... Um, you know, I'm, the, I'm unaware if there's another guy with a shotgun. You might be able to create your own custom character that has a shotgun, too. That might be worth looking into. All right, so here we are. We're uh, jumping over a log, and we find this caged area. And, oh, no, the pig sees us and takes off one more time. This is, uh, this is one of my favorite levels as far as the level structure goes. That pig cracks me up all the way through. But uh, go ahead and smash away all the way to the back of the cage and make sure you grab that mini kit if you did not grab it in the story mode. It should have been there for you, but uh, we skipped it just because we wanted to get them all in this free play. Now, here I struggle again to get up top. I had a hard time with this in story mode, like the double bounce, the triple bounce. It didn't matter. I was having troubles. But uh, before you fall off, make sure you grab that bluesy. You can see I almost missed it myself. But uh, once you get down below, it actually triggers another scene with the pig where he sees us and gets all scared and runs off one more time. And it's going to be our duty to go ahead and destroy these three boxes. Now, the middle box actually gave us some big bricks to build, and uh, we're going to use those to build up a raptor pounce point here in a second. But like I said a minute ago, I was getting a little bit uh, worried about the old true survivor here as we're getting closer and closer to the end of the level. Fact is, we're not even halfway done yet. But I didn't know that at the time. I was kind of freaking out, man. All right, so uh, you never know how many studs are going to be towards the end. Like, look here. There's this big open ravine with hardly any studs. But, yeah, there's other areas that have all sorts of stuff to smash and grab. So, all right, the little piglet takes off one more time. And uh, I'm pretty sure our raptor smells bacon, so we're going to keep following that trail. But uh, along the way, we actually see this black rock with a gl green glow around it. Go ahead and pull out your dilo and shoot it. I guess spit on it. I don't know. Whatever you want to do. Take it out with the dilo and grab that mini kit. Now, over on the right-hand side, there's a little tire swing and a few other boxes. Go ahead and destroy all the boxes and build up the raptor pounce point. Then at this point, we're going to have to switch on over to a Raptor and do a pounce, which actually rips the power out from that security cam and actually gives us access to another up higher pounce point, which will allow us to get up to this final ledge up here. So here in a second, we actually come to a spot where you need both characters or both Raptors, and we need to do a series of smart things in order to get us through this little puzzle. It's really easy, but the problem is we need our other Raptor. Now, if you look, my character's way back there again, so I'm having more problems with characters not following. Again, the AI is less I at this point of the game. But uh, once you get both characters up here, make sure they're both Raptors. Pull the one switch, which will pull the door down, giving access to the other door. And uh, once you get in the other door, pull the other lever, and it'll give you access into the two switches. So uh, that might have sounded confusing, but I assure you, it's really easy. Just pull the one lever with one Raptor in there, let the other Raptor go through once that lever's pulled, and booyaka shao. The other lever opens the door. All right, follow the old Raptor scent trails. You can see we found a little bit of Piggy there. And he runs upside. Oh, the booty shake. Are you kidding me right now? That's something my kid would do. Little little celebratory like neener, neener, neener. We're not having that as raptors. I can tell you that right now. So he destroyed some shrubs on the left. Build that shrubs up to a raptor pull point. This will give us access up top. Go ahead and smash the bushes covering the raptor pounce point and get both your raptors up there, which will cue a cinematic scene where the piggy piggy is getting chased by all of us raptors. And he actually escapes to, uh, well, what he thinks is a nice little sanctuary. But it turns out we're smart enough. We can actually smash the garbage can, rebuild a handle, and pull them both. Once you get both pulled, it actually cues the door. And we go ahead and make our way inside. 
Once we get inside, we're going to head all the way over to the far right side. Now, you can see there's a piece of cake there and a Raptor scent trail, but we're going to get to that in a second. Destroy all of these red boxes along the right wall here. Build up the pieces, which this is the most crazy birthday cake I've ever seen. I certainly do not want a birthday cake like this. And uh, really, I'm not even sure it's considered a birthday cake. It, it's like a giant bomb, though, whatever it is. And we're going to pull that lever. And uh, you actually have to let go of the lever, too. And look at that. Booyah kashow. It's probably not a birthday cake. It's probably just, um, I don't know. There's probably something significant there, and I'm probably missing it. So if you guys know something I don't, please drop it down below in the comments. And uh, All right. Now, remember I told you there was a raptor scent trail. We thought it was that piece of cake, but you can see we moved the cake, and it's clearly not the scent that we're wanting to follow. Must be red velvet. Nobody cares for red velvet. No, I'm just kidding. If you like red velvet, I apologize. That was a, that was a reference to a TV show or an online show. I don't know what to call that because it's not on TV technically. All right. Uh, anyhow, we uh, follow the Raptor scent trail all the way over to the poo pile. The little piglet comes jumping out, and then our worker tries to save the piggy, but actually gets thrown into the pit himself. So as soon as we start off, we actually drop down with Barry and Owen, and we find ourselves with a big pile of bricks, but they're not bouncing. So we're going to use our favorite dino dung diver, Owen, on the left-hand side to pull out the remaining bricks and build those up top, which give us a giant meat carousel. So we, in order to cue that though, you got to switch on over to Barry, charge it up with his shot cannon, and I don't know what tune that's from, but it just sounded like a carnival-like theme. So uh, basically, when that happens, it actually drops a red handle. We're gonna pick up that handle, make it all the way to the back middle of the area, and spend a win to open the door and free our people. So we're gonna go ahead and make it to the next area now. And we start off. I'm not sure why it chose Barry and a Raptor, but it did. And we're gonna keep on keeping on until we find this little pathway here. Now there is a scan spot right up above us on the left. And uh, we noticed that there was this cracked wall in the story mode. So we're going to make our way to a spot where we can actually spawn a big dino that will allow us to charge and smash. And we do that. And right behind the door is, oh, it's a doorway. It wasn't just a cracked wall with a mini kit. It's an actually a whole new area. So right off the bat, we're going to make our way down the stairs. And we're going to use Lex to go ahead and hack this terminal. Now, I don't know if hacking is the appropriate word. I mean, it's a little mini game, and yes, in the end, we are hacking, but uh, basically, we are, uh, yeah, we're just playing a little game. I don't really think that's hacking. Hacking's a mean, malicious, skill-based thing. This is just, I don't know. I had no skill, as you can see. It took me forever to get those two red squares green. Uh, once you get those green, though, it'll actually move a hidden wall here, and... Uh, It'll actually show us a little smart board. So we switch on over to Ian, and we take on the old smart board pattern, which we get, and booyaka shall. A bunch of bricks come falling out, which allow us to build them up into a mini kit. So one more in the bag. You might have noticed that there's a compi tube over on the right-hand side, and you can see I tried to use the old toggle to switch characters, but I just could not for the life of me get the character I needed. Then I freaked out. I was like, wait a minute, what am I doing? I need somebody on this elevator before I do anything. But switch on over to a compi. Your character should get on the elevator by himself. But if he doesn't, make sure you assist getting him up there. And uh, the top button makes it go up. The bottom button makes it go down. I don't know if you really need to make the elevator go down. It's such a high fall. and It's not like it's a high height or anything, right? All right. That room is now secure, so we're going to keep on keeping on and make our way back up to that scan point that I had mentioned just a second ago. And we're going to pull out Claire, because we haven't got to use Claire a whole bunch, and we know that she can use her scanner. Beep, boop, 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 boop. And look at that. We found ourselves a little hack terminal. So we'll go ahead and approach that with her as well, because she does have at least Jurassic World access. And it drops a bunch of coins, but it also drops a ladder. Did I just call those coins? I know some of you probably just went, wah, those aren't coins. So I'll correct myself so you don't have to. Grab a bunch of studs that drop out and make your way up the ladder. 
All right, so here we are. We're going to make our way all the way down and over. We got one more dino dung pile to dive into, and obviously he is not into it. So we're going to switch on over to Eric Kirby in the old, uh, I don't know, disguised, I guess, is the character version. Inside, we find a bunch of bricks we can build up to complete the old adventure wall or rock climbing wall on the back. And I was hoping that old Eric Kirby in his disguise could do some rock climbing, but it turns out he's not much of a spelunker. So we'll switch on over to Billy. And now Billy's going to make his way down and smash a bunch of stuff. And ooh, we find ourselves a little hidey hole here. So we'll switch on over to Timmy because Timmy has the night vision goggles and can build whilst in the dark which we're actually gonna need here. So we're gonna smash the bones on the left-hand side. And because he has the ability to build bones, giggity, he can actually build up that nice little street light for us. So once the street light's on, you actually have the ability to change into any character you want. We have chosen Barry with his awesome grapple hook uh, awesomeness. <laughs> I don't know. I kind of fumbled that uh, statement there. Anyways, uh, that's all that needs to be done in that cave. So we make our way back out front. And we might remember there's this little broke down water pump, generator, sump pump. I don't know what it is over here, but we're going to go ahead and fix that. And we'll switch on over to Eddie Carr because we haven't used old Eddie in a while. And you know, that little bald spot on top of his head might need some sun anyways, huh? Little Mr. Cleanage. Shiny, shiny. All right. Back to Alan. We actually have some bouncing bones over here. And so we were a little curious as to what this is. But basically, it's just the name to go over the cave. So kind of cool, but at the same time, kind of a waste of time. So we'll go ahead and hop on this water pump that has been fixed three times. And it actually pumps the water out of the hole there and drops it into the little sumpage here. So that actually floats up some jumpers that we can hop across on. And that brings us to the first of three camera points. So there are three photography points here that I have labeled for us. And they're all labeled in the video description as well, in the different quick links. And uh, so yeah, basically there's three picture spots, but there's an amber brick in between these. So I know the amber brick is, I, I don't think you can get by it in the story. We tried and could not. So we're assuming everybody has that brick, but just in case we didn't want to skip it. But uh, take a picture before walking away. And as you can see, that was the first of three. And right around the corner, actually, we're going to kind of tiptoe the old doom, 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 the old Looney Tunes style all the way around. And just to the right of the shock panel there, we're actually going to take another picture. Now, after this, we're actually going to have a little short break from the collectibles. And I do mean short. It's only about 30 seconds. But we're going to keep making our way. And we find this tree is knocked down. And we actually need to do something to this panel in order to get by it. So we happen to switch through. We normally would have pulled out Joffrey because he's the only shocker we're, uh, we are familiar with. But I took a chance with the toggle. And it turned out I had Handler Ellis, who was also capable of shocking that terminal. But unfortunately for him, as soon as he does shock it, the IREX comes in and takes him for a nice little... Uh, Ride? I don't know. It's kind of a nasally ride. At least it looks like it anyways. Rawr! All right, so we switched on over to Owen, and we used his camouflage ability to get on by. Of course, you could use Eric Kirby and his camouflage ability, too. Then Dino Dunk Dive over here in this pile, which is going to give us a handful of bricks. They look like bone bricks, but turns out they're not, so it doesn't matter who you have. Build them up into a bunny rabbit which is uh, kind of an unsuspecting gadget at this point. But it gets the Irex's attention, and he turns and makes his way over to the door, which now gives us access into the last area, but also gives us access to the Amber Brick. So we're going to go ahead and switch on over to Claire and use her beep boop 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 And uh, that's going to do the scan, in case you were wondering. And it's going to find out that we can actually drop this cage and give us access to the backside of the path and also to that purple stud because that's where the amber brick was. And uh, all right, all the way over in this far right corner, you're gonna find the third and final food graph spot. And uh, although, although it's looking at a weird spot, it actually is a very comical picture. Once you take that, you get the 10th and final mini kit and you are officially done with the collectibles for this level and you can move on to the second level of movie four. But we're gonna use Claire to scan and find these handhelds and climb all the way up top to find out that we should have climbed up with Owen. But then we find out that our AI has switched characters to Lex. I'm not sure why they thought Lex was the more appropriate character considering I needed somebody to cut rope. 
But uh, anyways, we got Owen back up top. We're going to go ahead and chop this down. Once it does, it creates one of the largest meat sickle piles ever. So we're going to build that up and do an official meat sickle. Slide it on down the old zip line. And that's going to open. Well, it's going to get the attention of the IREX. And we're going to also open the door here. And that'll allow us access to run out. But not the IREX, though. He can't get out, right? <laughs> Right, so we'll go ahead and hop back down with Claire because we know we need her in-gen access one more time, or Jurassic World access, I guess it is. It's not in-gen. But follow the pattern there. Once you beep bobble beep it, it'll open the door, and we can roll out to the final total screen. All right, all right, all right. Welcome to Jurassic World Free Play is now complete. We got a ton of studs, and we got, of course, all 10 mini kits. We got that amber brick in the story mode, but we got a Poipal stud for getting it in this version. And uh, that helped us get to that true survivor. Certainly, the two times on that purple helped us get there, but we were already there before then, so I, I had no worries early in the level. I need to not be so panicked. Uh, all 10 mini kits built together give us the old Skeletor version of what we picked up before, which is the old Packy. And uh, that dude's got a nice hard noggin on him, so we appreciate all his hard work for smashing in all them walls. A couple of gold bricks added to our pile, and that return to the island screen means only one thing. that That's going to wrap up LEGO Jurassic World Level 16. Welcome to Jurassic World Free Play! And, uh, hey, guys, we're getting really close to the end of this series. We really hope you've been enjoying it. We've been trying to bust these out as fast as possible and as accurate as possible. And a few of you have noticed we've made a few mistakes, and we've corrected them based on your feedback. So, hey, if you guys have more feedback, head on over to Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. Like I said, we love hearing from you guys, even if it's just, hey, I got my platinum, or, hey, look, I took a picture of my 100%, or, hey, you guys are terrible. You need to get better, and this is why. It doesn't matter what your feedback is as long as it's positive in the end. And we appreciate all that because we appreciate you. Make sure you check out happythumbsgaming.com as well, the home of our product and gaming reviews, as well as our trophy achievement guides, including one for LEGO Jurassic World. All right, as for me, that's it. As always, until next time. Turkey for. See ya!